there hasn't been a lot of confirmed transfers that have gone down besides one or besides the main one, which we will talk about first. And I love to go to Liverpool, who have signed Dominic Shaboshlai from RB Leipzig. They triggered his release clause. Obviously, as you guys know, his release clause was set to expire on – it was June 30th. And they – you know, decided at night they were like he's gonna be worth it, and they triggered that sixty million pound release clause. Obviously, here this is how it would have went if they had triggered it after that June thirtieth deadline. He would have only been eligible to join Liverpool in the winter. Obviously, Klopp did not want that, so he came over, and Leipzig could do nothing. The players wanted it, and now he's a Liverpool player, our new number eight. To be fair, though, the last time we saw a Leipzig player come to Liverpool and wear number eight, it was not and it. Went, also, for a ton of money, it was not very successful, but I'm hoping that this will be more successful. I actually saw a really funny post. It was like Shabash Lai joining the legend Liverpool 8s, and it was like Gerard, uh, who's the other? I forgot who the other one was, and then it was like Kaita, and the, all the comments were like, why did you put Nabi Kaita in here? But hopefully he becomes one of the legends. How do we feel about the signing? Um, I, for me, I think it's a fine signing. I think Shabash is a good player. I know we talked a little bit about him last time. Yeah, I think Shaboshle is a fine player. My problem with this is, and we talked a lot about an impending formation change last episode. I don't, I don't see the formation change happening. Yeah, which I don't means think I don't see Shaboshle being super accommodated in this team if McAllister is going to play. It uh, renders one of those signings almost useless. Liverpool doesn't have Champions League football this year, meaning they're not playing, you know, multiple games a week that they care about. Well, they have Europa League. Europa League, but. I don't think they're going to throw too much at the Europa League. I think they will. I think I Liverpool think, are going to go to win it. Any any time your season yeah. has European teams, yeah. you're still. I think that you're yeah. still playing Liverpool is players. fully rotating for games against like AZ Alkmaar. Like yeah, they're yeah, not yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. They're not playing their squad like they would for a Champions League game. Like group stage games, I agree. Yeah, group stage games. They're not going to go out trying. They're going to advance out of the group. Maybe once they get into that later part of the season, they will. But that's where, like, you know, the winter transfer window comes in and you can sign more depth if you need it. But Shoboshlai and McAllister, I think both good deals on both of them, $40 million for McAllister, $60 million for mm-hmm. Shoboshlai, but that's $100 million on one player because you can't play both of them. They're not going to play both of them. I, and it's possible that they don't even play either of them for a lot of the games this season. I actually very much disagree. I think if Liverpool get kept from Thurham across or Lavia, I think we could be seeing a completely new starting three in the midfield for Liverpool. I, I think we could be seeing... Kepram or Lavia as that six. Shabash lies at right side at eight, which we've seen him play. And then McAllister as, I guess, a kind of another eight, ten. Or you switch them, have McAllister as that eight and Shabash lies as that ten. Because I agree with you. When I first heard the Shabash lies signing, I agreed. I think I even texted. I was like, yeah, I don't really get it. Because to me, Shabash lies out and out ten, almost winger. But you heard Jesse Marsh, a bunch of the other managers have managed him. A guy who is so versatile, can play across the front three, can sit as a false nine, can play as an eight, can play as a ten. So I think it's a great signing. And for me, I think Jurgen Klopp generally knows I trust it, right? Like this isn't a a team that have been untrustworthy with their signings. They generally are good at signing players. Here's the thing, I think Shabashlai is definitely a, a raw talent. I think it I think it'll be a Darwin Nunez like start for him where he starts a little slow. But I think he'll be able to get into it. And an underrated part of him when I was watching a lot of his game highlights is his ability to pass the ball and set up plays is fantastic, incredibly technical player. So I think fitting into that eight role, yes, I agree with you, may take some adjusting to, especially in the Premier League. But I do think that McAllister and Shabash can 100% fit into the Liverpool midfield. I mean, I think Shabash is a perfectly molded fit for Liverpool, actually. I mean, he comes from a system at Leipzig which plays very high, high intensity. Yeah. With Jesse Marsh, with Marco Rose, the system really never changed. He was able to play and run at a, a remarkable rate, given he was playing in an advanced role. And his grafting and his ability to go, come back and win the ball, even in advanced positions, press and win the ball, is something that Jurgen Klopp is going to be able to cherish and love for a long time, because he's going to be there in that midfield for a long time. I don't know how it's going to pan out with uh, Alexis McAllister. I do see what you're saying in that I don't see the the link up between the two because they kind of play similar roles. But I think if Shaboshlai has to drop in and play as that eight and a pure eight, he's going to be able to because, as cited, he is very versatile. Mm. He's young. He's moldable. And I think he's going to do a great job. No, I fully agree. I think Shaboshlai is a great fit. Solely looking at Shaboshlai, he's a great fit for the Liverpool scheme and the system. I just don't understand 
why they would go out and get McAllister if they were going to bring in Shabosh Light. I don't, I don't see the logic behind it. Those two are not going to play together. Well, you see it's Man City. really difficult you see to Man do. Man City, they just bring they in play players for the sake of it. M- it but it, but, it, but Man think... City plays like no other team plays. Man City's got these top-end players, and don't compare Shabosh Lai and Bernard and Shabosh Lai and McAllister to Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne. I'm not comparing the two. Because those guys are... I'm not comparing the two, but just saying Man City plays its own style of football and saying they're the best team in the world... Why wouldn't another team want to go out and sign players to challenge to become? I think Shabash Lai could be just as good as both of them. I think Shabash Lai could be a fantastic time, player because I think you're seeing Liverpool now. Their midfield, what they have for the past five years, is a possession-based midfield that plays the ball out, like plays like services. I think what Klopp's looking for now with Shabash Lai, with McAllister, with if they get Kevin Thurm, are players who can break through the midfield and get yeah, into ball, the attacking third. Ball progressors, yeah. Exactly. Like, that's what I really want them to get Kevin Thurm because he's a guy who is a fantastic ball carrier, can beat a man if he needs to. And that's what I'd love to see for Liverpool, especially because if you look at kind of – I think the attack last year got too much criticism because of the poor service from the midfield. I think the defense got too much criticism because of the poor – just a poor play from the midfield. So I think now you get McAllister, who I could argue could maybe play more of that eight role, Shabashai more of that advanced role because he's a fantastic dribbler. And then you have Turum sit behind them, or you have Fabinho and Turum rotating, or if they get Lavia. I think Lavia is, I think, more realistic. I'm not sure. Either of the two, maybe they don't get either. But I do think that Liverpool's midfield is obviously going through a transformation. It was aging, and now they're looking for new players. And I think. McAllister could be Liverpool's Wijnaldum, and I think Shabash like, could be Liverpool's Coutinho. I think these are two fantastic players, and we've seen them succeed at this level. See, personally, I'd reverse the rules. I would have McAllister go more forward and have Shabash like. Yeah, I'm not. Forward. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying what I've seen from Shabash like is he has lengthy, incredible dribble over the ball, can beat a man on any day, and McAllister to me, I guess I'm. I guess I'm basing it more off what I've seen in Argentina as a fantastic. Get the ball, play, yeah. no, really, really good distributor of the ball, but also guy, can yeah. play forward, yeah. 